Hello and welcome back under the dome. Uh, welcome back to Encase and playing Hardball. We had a very interesting fight here against some robots and we used a very new tactic which is we used the wasp, our our dart gun that is loud and is quiet, that is yeah, an excellent assassin's tool. And that one we used to check out and well, draw them into an ambush. So here, these these robo kids, sports girl and stuff, all a bit creepy. These robots, especially as they are actually exploding if they come near. So, and well, I I think we figured out a nice uh, a nice tactic there. So let's actually, let's get to this here, the relic case. Let's see if we can actually do this quickly enough without being there and quick. Oh, that's, oh yeah, nice. Okay, good. That's another one of those. But I think this here is not, yeah, it's just a normal funnel. Okay, but that's fine. That's fine. So let's have a look over here. There are boxes here behind a compartment and well actually I think we can do that ourselves, right? Yeah, we are really tired. We really need a break here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. More traps there. Katarzyna, come here, please. You have such sharp eyes. Do you see anything else? No. Okay, good. Then let's throw. Let's throw another bolt over here. And then go through. Go, 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 go. Okay, everything is full of mines. Okay. Good thing is it doesn't cost, clearing the mines doesn't cost uh, fatigue. There. Now let's disarm everything. Well, someone had quite ac uh, access to quite a lot of uh, military material. What's this? There. But that's very dangerous. If people go here, that's really not good. Very dangerous indeed. Unless, of course, this is like a stash. Well, it is a pretty big box over there. That is for sure. There. Was there another one? Well, we do have quite interesting little butterf butterflies here. So, yeah. Some gunpowder, that's good. An old box. More gunpowder, that's good. And then the big question is, are we falling to the ground if we pick this one? The Teak 75, no, I don't think so. Picking the lock. That is so exhausting. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. Some even more black powder. Did I just say gunpowder? Well, it's nearly the same, isn't it? And we do have some fuel. That is good. Okay, so. That's good. And there's nothing over there, right? I think we are, we need, we really need to, uh, head out of this location and do some sleeping. I don't even know why we are so super exhausted here. Because Crump did all uh, did all the boulder shifting and stuff, right? So. Ah, and we didn't check out the trash container, huh? Well, there's another one over there. So the trash, nothing here. Very weird. 
Ah, no, we couldn't. Uh, we couldn't do anything here, right? Yeah, we couldn't do anything here with the pile of stones. But I'm not entirely certain what to do. Ah, we can use a time bomb. Ah, that's the thing. Okay, we do have one. So let's actually do that. We do have a, the time bomb, don't we? Yeah, where is it? Where's the time bomb? I'm rather sure that we have one. Ah, there. Yeah, okay. So it's considered a tool, huh? An improvised explosive device equipped with the clockwork mechanism. Install, start, wait for the result. Yeah. You others? Well, you, you get into a safer di distance there. And now that, that, now that we are actually good with explosives. Yeah, let's do that. And then we sneak away. Let's sneak over there. There. Uh, 30, 30 seconds is enough, right? Oh. Oh, more mines. Ah, oh, this is actually like... Oh, it's... Uh, oh, yeah. Well, and otherwise, like back here, there was nothing, right? Yeah, in the meantime, Katarzyna and Crump, you guys can actually check out that area over there. So, but I think we actually looted everything. Oh, it blew, blew up while we are not away, uh, while we are not looking. Oh. Oh well. I didn't hear. Pile of stones takes 660 HP of pure damage. That kind that kind of doesn't feel satisfying, guys, doesn't it? Come on. We're doing that again. I want to see that. I want to see that, actually. Um and we were actually, what did we do? So we do did this here. Well, oh, yeah, well, sorry. The, then we have to do this one again. I didn't save. And then, well, there you see, save early, save often. That's the thing. That is the gamer's wisdom. Save early. Oh, and now I'm unconcentrated. Oh, that's not good. But well, that's not good. But that's also a thing where you can learn, right? And I can learn from myself to be concentrated. Katarzyna, what did you do? So let's throw this one in here. Let me go there. Um. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, I'm really unconcentrated now. So I saved, of course, after doing that. So things are not so good, so bad. Yeah, okay. My excuse is that I've just been at the dentist. Uh, I just came back. And on the way back, I wanted to buy some groceries uh, to save time. And you know what happened? There was a fire alarm. But like a fake fire alarm uh, in the little mall where I get my stuff usually. Um... And then we had to stay, stand there like, like for 20 minutes or so outside while, you know, my groceries were in the wagon inside of the shop. So, but it was kind of fun. People started talking. The overall uh, situation, you know, the, the mood was actually pretty okay. So let's install this here. And then we are actually for 20 seconds set Going over there not sure not sure how long the radius is but let's go like this 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 are there. Well, okay. That was the explosion that we missed before. Not too loud, so a rather discreet explosion. And now, this is a special container, right? Oh, it is indeed. Oh, a blunderbuss on level 4. Small for grenade launch and stylish. The blunderbuss is more of a variation of the civilian signal rocket launcher than a purebred grenade launcher. Nevertheless, it does its job. But it only does 13 to 20 damage. That's actually not so much. Even though... Uh, it is, of course, an area effect. Loudness very loud. Okay, but that's actually... It's not not bad that we have it, actually. So, Katarzyna, I think you guys need to do this one on your own. There's no need for us to throw any bolts around, but you don't run in there. And now, Crump. Oh, and but by the way, guys, I think we should... Oh, there's more up here. Um, we could also like go back here. I think we should fall back and have a little nap. So it appears that uh, there is more here. Yeah, there's a car. Oh yeah, someone has, someone has a little fortress over there. So actually, Katarzyna, good that you have had your look over here. I think we should actually fall back, and then we'll we'll have a little nap. Is it really 7 in the morning? Yeah. Well, that was really exhausting. We need a break. I mean, it was a, it was a kind of a tough fight with these, with these robots as well. So, come on. We're falling back. We... Well, dismantled the robo kits. We, we took everything that we could use. Let's also check our servo shell. But by the way, that's uh, actually an excellent haul in that sense. So we've got seven pile of, piles of crystal now and six polymetallic ore. And that's actually great. So let's get our servo shell. And then we and Crump, we can actually use a nap. And that's better than taking these Energon pills all the time. Let's camp. Um, because that can make us addicted. And we want to be... We want to never be addicted of anything. Oh, and well, suddenly our personal box is here. Well, I'm inclined to keep the stuff in our inventory, actually. This year we don't need the Necro Pearl. Off you go. Um, oh, we can't do that. Okay, well. And then, well, we only... Well, we got the nails. Put five away. We are carrying around one unit of polymetallic ore. Could be that there's something where we need it. But yeah. Put one away. The water is actually pretty heavy. We don't need so much glue, I guess. Let's go like so. And still 35 shots with the air gun. Yeah. Scissors. One scissor. The med kits. Yeah, I think otherwise it's okay. Well, the electrical equipment maybe. So like two. Let's keep two around. Plastics. The same. Nails. We just keep two things. Shotgun hull. 
assault rifle casings. No, I have no idea where we found those. But by the way, um, yeah, we already have 20. Yeah, we wanted to have the handful of earth, right? And we found quite some black powder here. Oh, we have 189 already, okay. So let's put 17 away. And then we've got the round number of 30. I think that's fine. So, and then we are at 169. And that is because of the other gear. So, by the way, the volunteer boots, I think we don't need more of those. So they can go away. Because with Katarzyna, we checked it out, right? However, here we need this stuff to um, switch it around. And the same goes for all the for all the gloves. Okay then, but otherwise, yeah, otherwise we are fine actually. Well, we can put one pipe wrench away. Oh, and all these canisters actually, like three of them, they are super heavy. Well, and this thing, oh, it's actually the blunderbuss doesn't weigh anything. So I feel that we are actually keeping this one around. And we do have four shots for it, plus these two. So let's have... Let's have three, three of these 40 millimeter grenades. Those we carry around. Also, we don't need so many eggs. There are four eggs is sufficient. Um, yeah, I think we are good to go. So there we go. Getting out of the servo shell because sleeping with servo shell is surely not the most comfortable thing. Although we might want to get used to it. Our weapons are fine and reloaded, guys. Always think of your equipment. And then, as they say, first the equipment, then the man. And man includes man as well. If, in case you have any doubts. So, now, Crumb is, is wrecked. We are totally wrecked. 790, so let's sleep for 10 hours. We are sleeping for 10 hours there. Till 1700. Like this. 10 hours of rest and sleep. Oh, sleep is the best thing for a tired body and mind, but it seems we are not getting any tonight. Oh, the moment we fall into Morpheus's arms, we wake to a painful itching on our inner thigh, then more of the same on our back and everywhere else. What? Closely examine the bed and our own body or no? The reason is simple. A tight-knit family of bed bugs resides in this mattress. We send a few of them to Kingdom Come and shake the rest far away from our bedding. Despite our victory, the bites continue to itch. We can't get any sleep until morning when the itching has calmed enough for us to take a brief nap. But this can't be called a proper rest. Oh no. What, that was already after 10 minutes? Slept badly, plus 5 fatigue. Oh no. Well, that was just after 10 minutes, huh? Well, guys, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I'm not sure if this is like because of this uh, location or whatever. But let's get out of here then. And then we are traveling away a little bit. Maybe we can find something nicer. Leave. Right there. Entering location. And then let's try the same thing again. Getting out of the servo shell. Checking equipment, check, check, and then go to sleep until 17.53. There. Resting. Nice. So, they're very good. What's our situation? You are fatigued 208. Crumb is also doing okay now. Good. Because it can be extremely dangerous, uh, as we know. Um, if we run into someone who's attacking our uh, our fatigue slash our endurance, uh, oops, no, 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 we are not leaving our servo shell behind. 
I wonder what happens actually if we just leave it here. Like on a map like this. A coincidental map. So. But the servo shell is always cool. There you go. Especially good for a fight, I guess. They are entering location. Do we need to eat something, by the way? Not yet, but soon. Okay, well then. So we are back. We are relaxed. The robots are done. I wonder, by the way, um, if someone had set them up here, like basically as patrols or something of this, uh, like if the person who is residing here or the persons, if they used it, but I, I doubt that because there were mines here. So this looks more like they uh, barricaded themselves from this. Yeah, by the way, let's, uh, let's actually bring the servo shell over there. Crump. Come around. Don't run into the anomalies. Katarzyna. Doing the rear guard. Don't run in there. Good. And now we're getting out of the servo shell. Everybody's the team. Sneaking. And this way everybody can participate. And by the way, can we actually go from here? One, two, three. What's that? Tire tracks imprinted on clay soil lead towards the gorge. Like here, huh? yeah. Tire tracks. Is that this car? Or rather the caravan? Well, let's find out. So there is an incendiary mine. Okay, good. Katarzyna, watch out. There. More traps. Let's disarm them. Crump. Don't... Don't do anything stupid there. Yeah, we are coming from from behind here for this uh, for this old box. Oh, that's already empty. Oh, we do already did that. Okay. What's this up here? Lots of bones there. Well, I just wish that our order to clear this uh, would be followed. On the other hand, uh, it's quite useful if, if there's a pause to everything, if we find a new, a new mine. There. Now that the mines are here, our flank is secure. Let's check out firstly what's going up here. Aha, uh -huh, more. Blizzard cryo mine, okay. Let's check this out. There are a lot of bones, so maybe there's some stuff here. Well, or there isn't. Yeah, it's dangerous if there are mines on the ground, so let's disarm everything. It doesn't cost us any fatigue, right? No, it doesn't. That's good. So, however, there are a lot of bodies here, and that's kind of worrying. Worrying and disturbing. By the way, it's interesting. So some... Oh no, we get 10 experience for just finding the map. So that's... Uh, the mine. That's actually good. Oh yeah. Oh. Really a lot of mines. Let's 
Zeig hier Emitter mal ein. Der. Sixty six, uh, that was a nastier one. Psyche emitter mine. Experimental capacitator based psyche mine. Charge relic dust acts as a damaging element. Uh -huh. And the Flamberg infantry mine. Heir to the renowned Claymore mine with its predecessor's design flaws rectified, copes equally well with both infantry and lightly armored vehicles. Yeah. I mean, shredding a civilian car. Claymore mine, that's certainly a very nasty crime as well. They are 41, so they are. So these are actually skunk chemical mine. Crumb, what are you doing there? Crumb, don't move. Another one, blizzard. I lost count, but yeah, we are beyond 10 now, I think. So the skunk mine. In the modified version of the mine, the chemical warfare agent has become more dangerous. Now the gas can cause light chemical burns to the mucous membrane. Mucous membrane. Well, I'm just glad that we are so good with contraptions. Let's do this one first. Oh. Even more of that type. Katarzyna, don't do anything stupid, my dear. This is thunder. Technically, that's not a mine, but rather an electroshock weapon that activates if someone steps on it. More on the corner, okay. Oh! Cheerful Jack. Cheerful Jack. Well, he looks sympathetic and indeed like the 70s. So, he seems to be a bit paranoid or something with so many minds, but I, I guess like he's a thorough person. And the blizzard cryo, Freon in this version of the mine has become more effective and now the victim is likely to receive mild frostbite on exposed skin. Yeah, let's check out the area up here first. That's also... Well, it's not really a dead end. Oh, there's... Okay, we could come over from there. Yeah, well, let's check this one out first. Okay, leave the mine here just in case. There is something or someone coming from the direction because he clearly fears that uh, something could happen oh there's another ladder there okay well i mean the guy seems to be rather smart so he is truly a survivalist right and he has some sense for tactical decisions and fortifying Trump, where are you? Come on. You can't go there, okay. So let's go down here. Well, he's got a nice spot here, by the way. So there is some water. It looks clean. Oh, there's a pile of stones. 
Well, let's talk with him first. So he's peaceful. A peaceful person. Um, our servo shell is over there, though. But well, so let's save. And by the way, let me just check something. What does he have in his pocket? Oh, lots of grenades. Okay. Yeah, but let's let's not uh, let's not steal anything. Some dark-skinned yeah. guy in a worn-up jumpsuit waves at you with an empty bottle. Hey, watch your step. This place is rigged with explosives. Well, thanks for the warning. We actually noticed. He goes down the hill with a sassy look. Security measures, in case those hyenas come back to the set. Hyenas? Suddenly, the stranger freezes with the bottle near his mouth. Oh shit, hyenas. They smelled you for sure. Want us? No, we are very clean. We don't smell. As if in support of his words, multitudinous howls sound from the canyon that is spread behind your back. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Uh, what about what about our oh no well, and how, how did they get there so quickly like they must have come down the ladder huh they must have come from here well and our servo shell is like right on the opposite side that's not so good yeah well 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 They ran through some mines, I guess, huh? Hmm. Well, Crump. So that's a, that's a hyena. Those are pretty big hyenas. The hyena doesn't look like it is ready to fight to the end. Okay. And this is like a mutated one or something. The laughing hyena. All hyenas laugh, but the mad laugh of... This animal sounds right in the head of the victim. Oh, Psyche 8, Guts 14, okay, and Perception 8, Daphne 6. So these beasts are pretty tough, huh? Both just, and they are also very fast. Yeah. Okay. So let's actually save our APs. They will come to us. Let's save. And by the way, we have the fighting stands. Huh? Let's do this. Fighting stands, yeah. Movement speed minus 0 0.75, yeah. Go like so, and then we prepare for the next turn. Oh, we can... Uh, Oh, this is Cheerful Jack is a companion. All right. Oh, he wants to be together with us, huh? Well, I like that. And he is a tough melee fighter with blunt weapons, as it appears. Huh? Blow. Let's, let me just check him. Melee weapons, yeah, and contraptions. Oh, okay, that's actually a good... That's a good combination. Oh yeah, very nice. So he's a tech actually. He's a better tech. So actually I feel that uh, that he could actually, you know, not replace Crump, but let Crump have a break. And then Fox and Crump we can pick up in the same location anyway so and also there there doesn't seem to be any real companion uh, quests right uh, breakdown want to get rich ask me how dirty money i'm just clicking on it because these were the things that we uh, did 
Lights, camera, Jack. Hardly making our way through the minefield. We found a survivor on the film set. Okay. Well, I guess he could go to Crumb. Does he actually have anything? Tech can throw a wrench. Stunning the target for two, tur for two rounds. It breaks the weapon. Well, and this is the stealth field, but only with a cloaking device. But well, let's, uh, let's do this. Mine clearance. It's actually quicker to do it like this. But I feel that that we will do this always with our main character anyway. So like this. And uh, he can save a five AP. Okay. Oh, but we can just stay there. We're wasting one, but that doesn't matter. And Katarzyna. I feel we should, we don't know if this laughing hyena can, you know, do something on a distance. So let's rather get away a bit. Like maybe there. And Katarzyna can save six, so let's save those for the next turn. And we can save lots and lots by 10, so we save everything because we can't shoot anything from here. Oh, we can actually. Okay, that's actually good. But let's go into hiding. And then we use the psychedelic dart against this one. There, very good. Skipping the turn. They run around over there, okay. That was actually very nice timing. Okay, now you, our guys can mess this one up. Oh, there, the Psyche comes. No, but it doesn't do anything, okay. So, Crumb, now it's your time. Running forward, and the Karate, you, the Judo technique, oh yeah. Let's do that. We sw swap places with the target. I think that's rather useful right now because then the la uh, laughing cheerful Jack. Let's do this. And oh, no, actually, firstly, like we've got that's five, right? The Udo is five. So let's headbutt it first. They yeah, are stunned. Excellent. Stunning means again that. It has less action points, but more importantly for the moment, minus 30 evasion. So, we have a better chance to do the judo technique as well. They are very nice. And then we've got two AP, followed by a jab. Oh, nice, a crit, good. And then we keep one AP for the next turn. Laughing Jack. Um. Let's attack once. So what does he have? He can do use a blow, a desperate attack. If we are hit ourselves, held below 35, wear down. That's a fatigue attack. Oh, that's like really bad. We cause 200 fatigue, but we gain 75 ourselves. Hmm. I would only do that. Uh, if we really need to get someone, like for a mission or something, um, like unconscious. And then this year, the inspiring fish finisher in case of successful elimination of the target, the cooldown timer of all, for all abilities is reset. Damage armor. Yeah, that's actually uh, interesting. So it has 41 points. I don't want Jack to kill it though. White swing, area attack, home run. Knocks 
an enemy uh, away. That's actually quite cool because it also does a lot of damage. Stun. Stuns the target for one turn. That's good. But it costs 6 AP. And then, oh, we have a psychic strike. That's interesting. And by the way, so you... What, who, what, how are you doing? Psyche 5. Guts and Charisma. Okay, Charisma. Inspiration and Authority. That's actually a bit wasted on a side character, is it? Physical Attractiveness, Charm and the ability to present yourself. Effects, Inspiration, Authority, Influence and Medicine skills. Yeah, well, he's, he's not good at medicine, is he? Yeah, so he's like kind of... That's not... To speak technically, that's not a good build. But well, at least the guy is a charmer, is he? Isn't he? So let's maybe let's make a regular blow, 35 to 40. Let's hope we are not killing it with a crit. They are good. And then actually, let's go for two, and then we are saving. The rest, Katajina. You are freezing. But actually, I don't want to freeze the thing. Um, how are the resistances? Heat resistance is 10. Energy resistance and all the other stuff is 25. Yeah. Let's shoot the cryo shot to reduce its uh, toughness. They are fragile. They have a fortitude. Well, now we could actually do a spit shot. Or rather, we use napalm. And then it burns. Burn, baby, burn. There. Um, well, and now we can actually freeze it. Like freezing, freezing the feet to the ground. There, frozen to the ground. While, while the first burning. Oh no, we. Oh, we we extinguished the flames or what? Oh no, it's never burned. It had it has a thirty percent chance. Okay, and then well. It took the chance then, okay. And we are going to kill the hyena over there now. They are good. Dead! 561 experience, that's good. So let's uh, keep our distance a bit. Saving three, or rather we are shooting the dart, the psychedelic dart on it. There, psychedelics on it, very good. This one's coming. Saves one AP, okay. Crump. Runs here. It should be frozen to the ground. Just for one more, yeah, well, but then crump. Yeah, saving for the next. Oh, there are more coming. An electric hyena, the product of an insane experiment, a hyena with... with with uh, augmented electric jaws that allow it to electrocute its victims. It was conceived as a means of detaining fugitive orange wingers, but the tests proved it to be too lethal. Wow. That's quite unethical. Well, I think Cheerful Jack can actually now, he can uh, punch it a bit. Let's do the damage armor. There. And then we punch it. Blowing. I'm not punching it around or something. And then you run around like so. That's good. 
Katarzyna. You freeze that hyena to the ground. They are very nice. It appears like on this distance it can't do much. Um, and by the way, so it's it's fragile. Psychedelics still work. Weak point frozen to the ground. Well, let's shoot it once more. Crit, good. And then we are keeping two AP, which we can't use anyway. And then let's use a cleaving dart and finish it off. There, yeah, very nice. Couldn't jump around as well. Very nice indeed. Oh, and we get plus five with crumb. Okay, reloading our air, our uh, dart, uh, the wasp. Uh, I really like this one. That's really good. So, oh yeah, we can actually save the game. Then, skipping the turn. So, what's going on here? New round. Mass hallucinations. Oh, how could you be so cruel? What happened? Oh, another hyena, or, or three, joined the, the fighter. Cheerful Jack has 10% chance to resist, and he resisted. Okay, Katarzyna has also 10% chance, but she gets the mass hallucination status, gets decrease in mechanical resistance. Okay. And Crumb. Doesn't have it. He's just in a wrestling stance. Okay, so I guess we need to run forward and punch this one dead now as quickly as possible. And bright monstrous images do not exist in reality but cause real harm to the psyche. Okay, whatever that means. Well, then, so crumb. Oh, yeah, it's 11. That's the electric hyena. Oh, there are even... Yeah, there are... Oh, there's another laughing one coming. So there are a lot of hyenas coming around, actually. I mean, I'm not sure what the... What these hallucinations do. Well then, so Crumb, let's save six for the next turn. Do you run in like here? Oh, okay. An unremarkable Jupiter moon car, however, looking through the windows, we can see boxes with an un uh, unambigu unambiguous dis inscription danger, explosives inside. Okay. Hey, cheerful Jack. You really have a hand for explosives, huh? Where did you get all the stuff? Should we blow the car up or what? Or is it more like he found it somewhere and then uh, he kept everything in the car? No, well. Um, so we are saving the remaining. Oh, no, actually, well, we could also shoot it, right? A buck shot, point blank shot. That does even more damage, but costs five. And the beanbag shot now. Uh, if so, we want to kill it, right? 71%. No, that's an area effect. I wonder why we can't even shoot it just normally. It doesn't seem worth it at the moment. So let's skip the turn. Laughing Jack. Doesn't have any effects. Don't get too close to the car. It's rigged. Yeah, we remember. Skipping the turn, saving five AP. Katarzyna. Can't freeze the thing to the ground. Well, we can do the cryo shot, causing fragility, and then we are reloading. There. Good. Skipping the turn. And we are unseen and unheard. 
Well, we could go up here. Go like this. And it does have, well, it does have, it doesn't have hallucinations. Let's cross hallucinations. Uh, did we miss? I think we missed the shorter. One more. There, crit, very nice. Saving one AP. Now the other, the next wave of hyenas comes in, so this seems to be a pretty large pack. I think the wasteland will be safer if we reduce their numbers a bit. So Crump, now it's time to run in. And I wonder what happens. But I think, well, it's booby-trapped car means that it is set to explode. Uh, so I guess like kicking, maybe kicking the thing against it, but that's also not worth it now. So we have, so let's make, we can make one fist punch. We can headbutt the thing there and we can jab it there saving one AP are you not coming in to crumb okay cheerful Jack you run here you break the armor of this hyena they are very nice and we've got six attack points um Well, I mean, we could knock it away, but at the same time, yeah, let's use the uh, the stun with exactly six. Let's punch it. Nice. Stun now. So this is this a better stun? No, it's the same stun like with uh, the headbutt. But well, it's better than nothing. While we are finishing off this one here now using the cleaving dart there just fell on crumbs feet huh? and then we oh there's there's a fuel barrel okay sneaking forward hiding behind katagina skipping the turn keeping two ap they get closer it get would be nice the car. it's dangerous well i mean like blowing the car up while all the hyenas are around that would be you know smart but on the on the other hand i think the explosives can be used in a more productive way because we can just kill these things here hyena 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 and the laughing yeah which one was the electric oh this is the electric hyena oh 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 Okay, well, crumb. The good thing is these things don't seem... Oh, it's that one, okay. I just wanted to say they don't seem to have such a high initiative. Um, but yeah, so let's punch it. And now the big question is what to do with it. Um, like here, the cutter affects the target, loses two AP for two turns. So let's do this. There, now it's scared. Not sure what was so scary there, but uh, well, Crumb knows. It is between Crumb and the hyena. Um, yeah, well, and now it will use the electric attack, I guess. Huh? So, oh no, we pushed it back, I think. 
or something. Or it was because it's stunned, huh, I guess. Or it couldn't do anything, huh? Well, then, anyway. The Mr. Hammer. It's a rock hammer, the most common variety. Cheerful Jack took it out of his trailer before heading out on a journey with us. Movement plus six if the user is drunk. Okay. We are just punching it. Let's punch it twice. And then we are finishing it off again. So. Saving the point. Katarzyna. We've got 12 points now. So how about you run in for six? Don't get too close to the car. It's right. And then you can actually freeze this one right behind beside the car. They are very nice. Skipping the turn. Now we are using another cleaving dart to shoot the hyena dead. What I like is also, they are very good, very good indeed. We got all the experience again. Excellent, excellent. That's how I like it. And what I also like is that it doesn't cost so much to shoot this thing and to reload it. Quick, quick action, actually. Let's go two forward. Don't get too close to the car. It's rigged. Yeah. Thanks for the reminder. And um, well, we could like we could shoot it with the psychedelics actually, but it's frozen anyway now. Yeah, skipping the turn, keeping three AP. They come up, okay. But now these are just the normal hyena. So it, it, oh, you scum. Oh yeah, we have mass hallucinations, so this one is the laughing one. So I'm still not entirely sure what this means, mass hallucinations. Detection time. Doesn't seem as if any stats are reduced. And I would associate with hallucinations that we have a chance to actually attack someone else, but yeah. So let's uh, let's really punch the thing. Headbutting the hyena. They are good. It's done. Kata needs one more turn. Um. Yeah, and then like one regular attack. And we just do the fist punch, there. killing it as quickly as possible, skipping the turn. Three or there for two. Now let's rather go here for three, but, but then we are actually in the way, so uh, just go for two. Damaging the armor. Oh wow, it's crit, dangerous. very nice. 35 to 40. Attacking there, very nice. Prepared for our killing move and blow or, or shot. Katarzyna, what happened? Katarzyna takes 34 HP of psionic damage. Oh, the mass hallucinations are some form of delayed poison again, huh? Or what? Well, we are shooting the cryo shot on this one. Well, that one over there is still frozen to the ground. Well, then, I mean, we could do the spit shot, right? And that's actually. Oh, we could use a. You could, we could make a fireball, but we don't have the AP. And then it would actually be interesting to see if the car blows up. Good shot. 
not waste. Um, let's ignite it. Ah, uh, well, they had a 30% chance to resist this, right? Ah, uh, so let's just make a spit shot. They are 51, okay. Because the heat resistance is just 10. So there we go. Level 11 hyena. And then we do a cleaving dart shot on this one. Killing shot. Come on. Yeah, they are very good. And another 561 experience points. Excellent. We're shooting a psychedelic dart on this one. And then we're just staying here. Maybe actually we go one one back. Ending the turn. Yeah, they are coming for our melee fighters. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it is a delaying thing. Okay. So Crump, you are here. You're headbutting this one, so it can be hit with here. They are very good. We've got six AP punching it once. And yeah, I think we are actually, oh no, no, no. We are using the jab and then we are actually reserving two AP. Like a girl, a very little girl. Uh huh. Cheerful Jack. Um. So I wanna attack this one here. What is what is that actually again? Ah, fragility. Okay. So we could actually attack this one here for four, five, six, and then we have only three attack. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Um. Yeah, then we are actually just attacking this one here. Oh, well, no, now let's try out the home run. Let's attack it once, like this. Bam! Should have used the damaged armor, by the way, but whatever. So, and then the home run. Away from the car. It's dangerous. Hyena has 60% chance to resist strong push. Hyena resisted strong push. Okay, oh, sad. Well, then we don't see what happens if it crashes into the car, but actually I feel that we that there's nothing anyway. Cryo... no. Cryo laser shot. For more fragility. Um, yeah. And now it's, it has 41. So actually I feel we need to shoot it once more. 27. There. Skipping the turn. And we are doing the killing shot. 22, right? And we, we actually we do 33 yards. So that should be the killing shot. There, very nice. Oh my god, this is so effective. Another 561 experience points for the boss. And... Let's go here. The car. It's rigged. And then let's shoot the hallucinogenic. They are very nice. And crit. For 51. Excellent. And now it can't see us anyway. Ending the turn. Oh, it's running. Calling for help. Oh. Oh. Oh, what's that? You receive. What is th there is something they look nasty oh 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 a matriarch the most badass and strong hyena in a pack it was assumed that a group of hyenas would be easier to manage if it was done through an alpha female but the alpha female herself turned out to be too unmanageable oh 20 guts okay psyche 9 that's not so good what's that Police hyena? What? 
When the project to create non-lethal cyber hyenas, hyenas for tracking down and detaining criminals finally succeeded, it was closed due to excessive costs a few days before the incident. So I guess these beasts got away, huh? Who would do that? A cyborg. A cyborg hyena. This creature is cybernetically augmented and is partly made up of machinery and electronics. It is vulnerable to effects that only harm robots. Which which means laser pistols, huh? Okay, well, let me just check something. Sorry, in the real world, I just need to change something about my my chair and my blanket because it is the deepest of winter. Intercontinental weather where I live, nasty and cold, but it makes you strong, of course. If you survive, that is. So there, that's better. Um, so here, and that way, let's have another close-up on this one. It has a pistol or an assault rifle on its back. Well, no wonder this, these beasts are kind of upset, huh? Well, so these are all dead, that's good. And they can ho call for help, that's interesting, okay. Well, crumb. Um, well, we could also, of course, fall back and let them come. But on the other end, like this one here. Yeah. Yeah, actually, let's fall back a bit and let them come. Let's see what they can actually do. Also, there might be more. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's... Oh, it's an assault hyena. Oh. That looks actually like the, the police one. The weapon is the same. So this one here, a dangerous predator armed with light machine guns, unlike other cyber hyenas, which were originally conceived as non-lethal. This beast was created to suppress serious riots and uprisings, and accordingly was equipped with deadly ammunition. So, okay, well, that's not good. Um, so I guess we are taking cover behind this here, huh? Yeah, come on, guys, let's fall back. I'm not sure if they can actually heal, though. And, uh, well, we didn't clear the mines up to the car, didn't we? Like up to here somewhere, didn't we? Oh, no, actually, no, we, we came up here. Yeah, well. Um, yeah. We shouldn't run into their fire, of course. No, come on, guys. Yeah, well, on the other hand, we don't know if they can heal each other. And now this one is one down. Actually, I think we need to press forward. So let's press. Um, but only for four. Like this, and then you can skip the turn because action points it's nine and yeah you can save five per turn so and the maximum you can save is 20 so oh. skipping the turn yeah and also i want uh, i want actually so katarina lucia Ends the turn. We are using first aid on her. They are very good. Ending the turn. Was help running, uh, uh, screaming for help. Get away from the car. It's dangerous. Okay, no, we are need, we we were we are going to fall back here. We're just killing this one and then we fall back. 
because that way they will be around the car. Maybe a cheerful <laughs> deck. Oh. Well then, so I guess that answers the question. Oh no, they are, are they killing Crump now? What? What happened? Reputation minus five and stuff. Double minus five. Yeah, so it's like a time bomb, huh? Well, I don't know what, what's rigging, like, uh, but evidently at some point it's actually exploding. So, okay, well, that answers the question. Well, cheerful, cheerful Jack, you could have told us that, uh, you know, it's a couple of minutes. So that was like, not so smart. So we're just holding the line here then. Yeah, should have saved after killing them. That was actually, that went pretty well there, actually. That went pretty well. It's kind of a sad, uh, kind of sad that we have to do this now, that we have to do it again. But that's the thing. You know, save early, save often. It's a CRPG and that just happens. Yeah. Okay, well. So, but. So. I think we need to make a kill zone. Maybe like here also. This one seems to be rather dangerous. The laughing hyena. Um. But we are staying here, skipping the turn. I don't wanna die, please. Okay, so we already know that this here is an, an area attack. Um, with uh, delayed damage, the mass hallucinations. So crumb. We need to run up and kill this thing quickly. So you run up like for seven. Don't get too close to the car. It's rigged. Yeah, and shooting with the shotgun is not really useful. Also 71%. Let's rather keep the action points and then we mess it up. That's the electric hyena with the electric teeth. So you run up here. Don't get too close to the car. It's rigged. Keeping five. Katarzyna. You run up here. Then you shoot the cryo laser. Eh, no, 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 no. We're doing something different. You're shooting a spit shot. Because this thing does have only 10 heat resistance, so let's do that. Let's do the spit shot. 52 damage is way more. Although it would be good to uh, have the fragility. Um, yeah. Now, but we need to kill it quickly. I think Katarzyna uh, yeah, no, she needs to run up anyway. So let's let's firstly shoot the cryo shot. So we reduce its fortitude. That will increase the uh, overall damage that it receives, I guess. And then... Yeah, let's reload this one. Skipping the turn. We are creeping forward. There. Hallucinations. Crit, very nice. And we are creeping forward a little bit further like this. Ending the turn. Other hyenas coming up. That's a whole pack. Don't be so whiny, Katarzyna. You are actually pretty tough. That's another laughing hyena, yeah? So I think actually that we are killing this one and then we fall back. I 
and we stay out of the range of this laughing hyena there. And I wonder if we kill it quickly, uh, if it if it's actually um, if that is changing anything. A jab, fist punch, another fist punch. Oh no, let's have let's have a, yeah. Now let's have a fist punch. Oh, and it's dead. That wasn't the plan. But on the other hand, 561 experience points. Um, and we know that only our active party, and this guy is not in our party yet, like officially, uh, only that gives us experience. So, laughing or cheerful Jack can't kill anybody. So, Crump. Yeah, you just wait here. You run here and then you punch it. The electric hyena. And I actually let's damage its armor. Weak point, fatigue 100 thou. And then blow. We need to be careful not to. Nice, a crit. And then a two. Yeah, so you get out of the way. The others are far enough away. Let's run back. I'm in terrible pain. Just grit your teeth. So now the thing has the weak point. Huh? Well, we are shooting one spit shot on it again. Oh, like firstly, we are shooting one cryo shot for fragility they are very good because as we know cool and hot together that's really bad this is how you brittle your teeth there very good 61 and then we can actually use uh, well we can shoot two so let's firstly shoot the hallucinogenic. They are good. And then we are finishing it off with the cleaving dart. There. Good. It's dead. No more trouble from electrified jaws. Ending the turn. The other hyenas come up. Saves AP, okay. Uh, and now we do a tactical retreat. Six. <laughs> Saving. Well, you run here. Yeah, although you don't. Well, he gets another one, huh? the mass hallucinations. Let's wait for the next turn, actually, before we heal you. So let's run here. Get away from five. the car! It's dangerous. Skipping the turn. Yeah, poor Katarzyna. Oh, she uh, is. It's like every turn. She they receive uh, damage every turn. Turn her huh, during the mass hallucina hallucinations. So we need to retreat. So they draw forward, and then we need to run in and kill the laughing hyena. I think that's how we go. That's how we do it. Yeah. Activating stealth. Skipping turn. And we are actually like... We can save all. So let's actually reload this one. And then we are skipping and loading uh, and keeping all AP. So that's good. So 
very close to the car now. Crump. Go here for three. Headbutting it. And then I've got yeah one and two. And then you run back. Jack. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit bad that he doesn't have anything like on range. And by the way, let me just check. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, contraptions. He had a lot of grenades in his inventory. So like also we well we could actually throw a grenade there. Did he bring any? And how many do we have? Let's have a look. It's not ammunition. I think it's considered a tool. No, it's not. It's a weapon. So, ah, well, we got it. I think we got all his uh, his grenades actually. Well then, how about you throw a an improvised grenade this year? Oh yeah, that has actually a pretty wide range. And that causes laceration on the laughing hyena as well. Let's do that. Would be nicer to catch more of them, but I think that's good. Like so. Long range. Very nice. Laceration. And that should reduce its uh, health by around 20 points every turn. So, that's good. Okay, now you go here. Save your AP. Katarzyna, yeah, just suck it up. And these things. Well, they also have a very low heat resistance. But let's shoot the cryo shot first, like there. Fragile. Um, well, let's freeze the feet to the ground. There. And then we've got six shots. And then we make a spit shot on this one. Good. And we have 19 points now. First eight. For Cheerful Jack. And we are doing the psychedelic dart on this one. And otherwise, I think, oh well, actually, uh, no. Nah. And we do the psychedelic dart on this one as well. They are good. We hit. And we are still in the shadows. That's good. We are keeping our last five AP. Now this one runs up. Yeah. Far enough away. That's good. This one comes for Katarzyna. It's dangerous. Okay, that's but that's only Crumb. That's oh, he resisted, huh? Crumb resists mass hallucination. Excellent. I would love to see what uh, which stat resisted actually. But I guess it was psychic resistance, huh? 10 points. Hmm. Well, anyway, so Crump. We are still hidden. Well, then Crump. You punch this one. Headbutting it. And yeah, then just do a fist punch. Like there. And then you run one away. You 
go here. Test the psychedelics. When we have 11 points. It's just four. Yeah. So we can only make two attacks. Um, T200. It's probably not necessary to use the damaged armor, huh? But this will speed things up, so let's damage the armor. Bam. Blow. Bam. And then he's got only three. Well, the desperate attack. Ah, okay, no, the, the desperate attack is actually, it, we have the uh, the crit bonus if our health is low, but otherwise it's just a weaker attack, so it's fine. There, oh, nice, crit, good. So now we can actually do a nice fireball, no, we don't, because that costs a, a nine. Well, then a spray thou. No, that's not good either. A spit shot. That's just the thing to go for six. Ah, oh, yeah, well. I I love I love a cryo shot before that one. Ah, oh, well, but we can do that. So let's shoot the cryo. Fragility, and then she just makes one step back. Oh crap, and the freeze was five. I want to freeze it. Well, well. This one has a laceration. That's the one with the grenade, huh? Yeah. Ah oh, well. And then we do the cryo shot here this one also fragile now saving so and we do have some contraptions as well don't we 100 even which means we could also throw a grenade by the way let's do that the homemade grenade 22 to 44 Well, that's actually not so good. Crump is in the way. Everybody is in the way. Okay, no, that's not working out. Um, this one is psychedelic, right? It does have 74, 60, and this one is 47. Um, so let's have the cleaving dart against this one. Oh, oh, great, it's dead. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So we are going away a bit. And then we're shooting a cleaving dart on this one as well. And we are going back a little bit further. Keep three AP for the next turn. So there they come. Going for Cheerful Jack. <coughs> ah, yeah. Ah, well, actually, they are not, not very dangerous. So, like, this one here is probably the most dangerous one. So crumb, you run around for seven like there, huh? or for five here. Like from here, the thing has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Range of around ten or so. Punching. running away and now well cheerful jack you are actually 
running for the hyena. Oh well, we are very close to the car that way. Um, it's 37. Oh well, let's make one desperate attack against this one. Good. And then you just you move one there as well. Keep the rest. Like so, Katarzyna. Reloading. And you go for two away. You just keep your points as well. And now the boss reloads. Cleaving dart on this one. Dead. Very good. Cleaving dart on that one. There. And another another 561. Very good. And this is where we can end this episode. Thanks for watching. Because this battle will go on for a while longer, I think. Um, but looking at the time, right? So, thanks for watching. That is actually pretty cool. Also, like these police hyenas. That's actually a very funny and interesting idea. Um, and it shows the corruption of people. How could they even think to send hyenas, cyber hyenas, uh, for oranges that were trying to get away? So that's just despicable, isn't it? But well, so we see what we do, what we can do here. Let's see when this booby trap car is actually blowing up. Um, so thanks for watching. And if you have any thoughts you wish to share, please do so in the comment section. You know you are always welcome to do so. And thanks again for clicking the like button right now, the shiny beautiful one and the subscription button if you haven't done so yet. So you never ever miss an episode again and receive your extra portion of good luck today. See you next time. Bye bye.